2014 for Carnegie was a huge turnaround. Um, since the acquisition by Kawa Capital in 2013, uh, Kawa has become a downstream solar platform, operating in 15 countries now. Uh, 2014 brought operating profitability to a company um, that amongst its peers is not a common feature. Uh, most companies are focused on growth. We want to grow at the same time of actually having operating profitability. So we hit 300 megawatts, almost half a billion dollars of revenues uh, with operating profitability. Um, so we'll continue that growth. We're going to try to add 50% of capacity in 2015. So we're really excited about the future. It's the global platform. It's the ability to procure in large volumes to drive the cost down uh, while being able to uh, live through the ups and downs of individual markets and still hitting our global target. So very few companies that are in the development, installation, and operations business, like Conergy, uh, have the ability to drive up megawatts, of total megawatts built, um, while at the same time, understanding that not all markets are going to be great every year. So we can go up and down as the markets uh, fluctuate. So from Conergy's perspective, what really differentiates us is the really brilliant people that work in Conergy. Uh, they come from a background of semiconductors, PhDs, uh, from around the world. And um, that's, you know, they love working in solar. They love working for Conergy. Uh, and it gives us a truly um, positive outlook on where we are in the market. Conergy is currently located in 15 countries. We have about 300 employees and growing, so we're hiring in all of our regional hubs uh, located in Miami, Hamburg, and Singapore. Uh, so throughout the 15 countries, there's growth. And um, so there's opportunities within Conergy in all of the different areas. Uh, but with 300 people, we're doing over 300 megawatts, and that's growing. So we're really excited where we're at, and the productivity of our people is amazing. Well, it's about watching your costs and doing, uh, having really good people being very productive. Um, so we, uh, with 300 megawatts, we're one of the largest uh, development EPC firms in the, country, in the world. Um, and doing so in 15 countries, if we actually had total country presence with engineering, O&M, et cetera, in every country, uh, which is how a lot of the structures are set up, uh, we wouldn't be profitable. But having that operating, having the goal of operating profitability instead of just pure growth, um, we're able to, to take both into account. And you know, I think that's the main difference. But we're driving towards that. I think the solar industry is recognizing that profitability is more than just an afterthought now. So solar really is here to stay. If you look at where solar sits today from a total energy consumption versus the overall energy portfolio, uh, it's still very small. Um, some of the, the best estimates that we're seeing today has solar growing uh, many times over from here. And it's going to give us, um, you know, we have a really strong platform today. We have to defend the policies that got us here. Um, and we have to continue driving home the point that um, solar is a very important part of the energy portfolio. One of the parts of solar that's going to differentiate it from the rest of the energy sectors is that the, the smartest uh, students at the best colleges are, have a choice. They have a choice of what industry to go to. Um, so they're, you know, at the end of the day, they're going to make a decision of what's good for them from an economic standpoint. But they're also making a social uh, decision of what they want to leave behind and what they want to do for work. So you're seeing the best and brightest come to solar instead of oil and gas uh, in order to do well for themselves while also doing really well for the environment and doing well for the economy.